Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Razor. So, welcome to my side LP of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses. Yeah, last week I revealed the uh, my 500 video special that I was going to do an LP of this game and Rogue Galaxy. This game's going to be a side LP though, so it's only going to be uploaded like once every every other day. Not every day, once every other day. So yeah. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start a new game here. This is a whole new breed of Yu-Gi-Oh. This ain't like your typical Yu-Gi-Oh. I actually find this a little bit more funner. Kinda. Alright, so the British Empire in the 1480s. The Wars of the Roses, a power struggle between the houses of Lancaster Red Rose and York White Rose. To decide a royal successor was nearing an end. With the Yorkists well in the lead, the reign of Richard III was but a step away. And in France, Yugi, Henry Tudor, last Lancastrian heir. So yeah, there's Yugi. Cabin Yugi, a game fight Yugi, was being forced to live a life of exile. The Lancastrian forces were rendered powerless by ancient cards of sorcery wielded by Seto. And that was Pegasus before. Now, now here's Seto. And his seven followers, who are known as the Rose Crusaders, served under the flag of Lord Crawford, a powerful Yorkist nobleman. Also, Seto is also known as Kaiba as well. His full name is Seto Kaiba, really. Back in a duelist to champion their cause, defeat was imminent for the Lancasters. In England, dual card games were still at the fledging state. Thus, the Lancastrians had to look elsewhere for a dual master capable of facing the Rosen Cruise in battle. With this in mind, Margaret My Buford of Lancaster secretly requested a high druid to summon a duelist from another age. I'm not going to read all the dialogue in this game, by the way. Just that beginning part. That's pretty important. But here we have Simon McNewer. So I got this a little bit slowly. The truth of the legend of the Rose Duelist, huh? So he's talking about us. So he's a high druid, huh? Hi, right, your name's actually important in this game, actually. Just, um, depending on what name you put in, you get, can get certain starting decks. There's a whole bunch of starting decks. There's like, I think like 20 or 30 of them. Probably more around 20 of them, I, I would say, but... I want a certain deck, so I'm actually going to name my character Key. But yeah, depending on what you name your character, you're going to get different decks. You're going to get to choose from three starting decks. So I'm going to go ahead and put Key, and press Start, and there we go, that's my name. All right, so the opposing uh, forces, the Yorkists. So War of the Roses, huh? Red Rose for the Lancastrians and White Rose for the Yorkists. So we gotta stop the Yorkist people.
Now it's the perfect rule, huh? Yeah, I'll go over more of that later. We actually get to a duel, I'll tell you all about that, so don't worry about don't worry about the rules of the game, I will explain everything. Alright, you can do a practice tool, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just tell you how to play and all that later. So I'm going to hit don't play a practice tool. Alright, so now we're going to have to select the deck. Alright, uh, so now we've got three decks to select. Robotic Knight, Fairy King Truesdale, and Illusory Gentleman. That's if you name your character Keith. So if your character's name is Keith like mine, you better get the Robotic Knight. Which is who I want to start with. So let's go ahead and pick the, ro pick the Robotic Knight. And press start. So there you go, that's my starting deck. Each of the starting decks have different cards, obviously. So who do we have here? Hey, it's Seto Kaiba. Alright, so Soto's the leader of the White Rose. Sorry about that flash. Alright, so there's 16 red and white rose cards, huh? All right. Yeah, I think I see where this is going. Do you side with Keith or Simon? Red or White Rose?
Uh, so here's where we're going to pick either the Red Rose or the White Rose. White Rose is side with Kaiba. Red Rose is side with the uh, Lancastrians and side with Salmon and all them. So basically the good guys with bad guys. But first we're going to side with Seto. Now when you side with Seto, your first duelist will be... The first duelist that you can actually face is Taya. If you side with Simon, then you can actually fight one of two duelists at the beginning. The two duelists that you can face if you pick Simon is uh, Rex Raptor and uh, Weevil Underwood. So that's two choices if you pick Simon. But we're going to side with the Yorkist. And there's actually a good reason why I picked Kaibos first. Yeah, you gotta use a deck whose your, your cost has to be lower than your opponent's. It cannot be more than your opponent. If it is more than your opponent, you will not be able to duel them. So you gotta make sure your deck's lower cost than your opponent. We'll go, I'll go into more of that later. Alright, so we open up Taya here. If I could move my mouse over, there we go, or my control over. So we can duel Taya, but we're not going to do that in this episode. First I'm going to go to my deck. Then I'll show you my deck. This is the Robotic robotic Knight deck, as you start with. Got your Dark Fire Dragon, your Lesser Dragon. And you can also um, look at a 3D image of your uh, monsters as well, as you can tell here. So that's kind of cool. You got Zombie Warrior, a couple Zombie Warriors, Unknown Warrior Fiend, Masaki, Invader of the Throne, Ogre of the Black Shadow, Burglar. Wilmy, Taihoni, Magin Gun, yeah these are all weak cards and all that, you got Yurubei, Little D, and here you got your machine cards, Pendulum Machine, Cyberstein, Cyberstein has a special ability as you can tell, it's got these on effect monsters, so, transforms occupied space in the wasteland when engaged in battle, and then Cyber Commander has an effect as well. While well, this card is face up in defense protection, the strength of all your machine monsters are increased by 300 points. So that's a very good card. There we go, got Jinso number 7, Brave Scissor. Now, as you can tell in the original game of Yu Gi Oh!, Jinso 7 has an effect. In this game, he does not have an effect. Some cards in the original game. They have effects, you don't have effects in this game. So keep that in mind. Space Megatron. Pretty good card. Steel Scorpions. Royal Guard. Steel Ogre Grotto. 
and then bad. When this card is flipped face up, if there is a Gigan Bakugan in any adjacent space, teleport one Gigan Bakugan to your opponent's summoning area. And you got some rock monsters here, your pyro. And you got your spell cards. You got Wasteland. Preferably surrounding two space area into Wasteland terrain. Sparks. Inflict 50 da points of damage to your opponent's life points. Limit removal. Boost the attack and defense factor of all machine monsters on the field by 600 points. Machine conversion factory. Increases the power of machine monsters by 600 points. Well, I think that's 500. I can't really tell. Then you got your bear trap. Is a trap. Disposable trap that triggers against uh, monsters with against a monster with attack of 2,000 or below and destroys it. So that's the only trap you got. So that's the whole deck of the Robotic Knight. So yeah, I'm in the video here. And in the next episode, we will duel Taya. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and be sure to check out my other guides. And videos on my channel, please subscribe. Later.